about a damn thing. Like, mm -hmm. there, there's no price to what they do. There's no value. Mm -hmm. They just like I, I met this guy in uh in Utah. I don't want to snitch him out to go up in each country. So it's like the stocks to go up. He'll make one phone call, and then the stocks will just go up. And that's it. I, you know, you know the hip hop shit. You point like right. the, the gun point. So he's like, oh shit, that's the that's the new sign. But I didn't peep that he he was telling me that at that moment. I just wanted to take a photo. I, right. I, I, you know, I always thought about, like, you know, Jay-Z doing these signs. Everybody's doing, like, signs, trying to connect with other people. But meeting him, like, just him randomly telling me, oh, that's the new sign. Then he did it. He did the gun sign. So he assumed that that's the new way of communicating to whoever is in the hierarchy. Because he's assuming, because I fuck with 50, right. I'm already in the hierarchy that I understand the whole s symbolism of whatever right. they do. The two doors uh, that exist in hip hop. Okay. Um, well, Jay, what are the two doors? Okay. Um, the two doors are the quickest, the quickest way to misery, and most definitely the surest way to hell. Okay. Um, some may disagree with me, some may agree with me, but I'm just here to inform you, okay? Um, so door number one, all right? Door number one, um, sacrifices, okay? Um, you have to understand this is... Uh, very spiritual to them, okay? Um, in order for uh, an artist or an actor to elevate to the next level, okay, of stardom, um, sacrifices have to be made. Um, immoral sacrifices. You know, things that will torment the average human being, okay? Um, some may use animal sacrifices, some may use human sacrifices, okay, but, um, to know that in the back of your mind, um, you committed a murder, okay, and when you done this, you were given, you were rewarded, okay, so to them in their eyes, this is a curse, but you're feeding uh, that demon that's elevating you to the next level, okay? Um, we're going to take Eminem, for example, all right? Eminem... Um, take him on. I started realizing that I could put words together, that I was actually semi-good at it. And then maybe when I hit about 17... I started realizing that, like, a lot of the that I was writing was better than half of the rappers that were out, like, lyrically, like. So then I, I hooked up with uh, these guys, the Bass Brothers, back in, uh, I think I was about 17. And uh, they had heard me rapping over the radio. There used to be this radio station I used to go to every Friday night called, uh, it was like an open mic thing where you'd go up there and you play your demos. Your parents' home. I reached a point when my daughter was born where I just, I, 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 I didn't give up anymore. I didn't care. I just was like, I was fed up with so much shit. I knew I had a, I had a baby on the way that I, you know, before she was born and once she was born, I couldn't afford to buy her diapers. I couldn't afford to do anything. I, I lost my job. I was working different jobs, temporary service, all kinds of jobs just to try to make ends meet. Didn't have anything, you know. Got evicted from the house I was staying at and really reached a point where I just hit rock bottom, so I stopped giving a fuck. Sinking into depression, Marshall took an overdose of sleeping pills in December 1996. We recorded the Slim Shady EP, and as soon as we recorded that, I was doing shows, getting little gigs around Detroit, in the Detroit area, a little club 
gigs and things like that. And um, everything just started picking up, like. See, now right here, you see how he said all of a sudden, things just started picking up. Okay, this was at that point where Eminem decided to go full gusto. You know what I'm saying? He he needed that money. He was he was broke. You know what I mean? He was hungry. He needed that money. You see what I'm saying? He was so desperate that he needed to do what he had to do. He's got a baby on the way. I got to do this. So what do I need to do? He gets in contact with the Bass Brothers. How do I get my tape? You know, I want to be famous. What do I got to do? I'll do anything. And, um... The rest was history, man. And Eminem knows what he did. He knows what he did, you know. Um, these things partake even in movies. Y'all remember that part in Hustle and Flow? Where he was like, the white boy was like, do y'all believe in omens? And then all of a sudden, DJ's tape just started being hot. His music was hot. He was in the streets. Everything just started. You know, uh, the tape started selling. There was a buzz. Um, I would walk in the clubs. People would automatically know who I was. I started making like a pretty. All right, so you just saw that clip there. Um, now, we know that um, an individual, you know, if an individual is in a low point in life and they're ambitious, they'll pretty much do anything to get out of that situation, okay? Um, so I truly believe um, that this, took, this has taken place way before a lot of people think, all right? Nobody just randomly pops up out of nowhere uh, without partaking in any type of, uh, any type of uh, demonic activity, okay? So, um, I believe that, you know, it, it, it progressed into what it, what it is today, you know, and he took that turning point um, when he all of a sudden said that his tape started picking up, okay? Uh, he mentions this in the song, uh, My Darling. He says, um, you sold your soul to me, need I remind you? You remember that night you prayed to God? You give anything to get a record deal while Dre signed you? This is what you wanted your whole life, Marshall, right? Look at this house. Look at these cars. I'm so nice. So this is uh, in a song called My Darling by Eminem. Uh, he mentions that um, he did a deal with Satan. Okay. And he views Satan as God, all right? This is, this is what they do, man. And um, like I said, these demons, they take uh, any type of sacrifice, whether it be human or uh, animal, okay? Um, it may be too soon for this, but I believe DMX um, sacrificed his dog, Boomer, um, whom he has on his back, tattooed on his back. Also, MF Doom, you know, his brother Sub Rock, uh, Nas, Ill Will, okay, um, so many, man, so many, um, you know, it's, 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 the list goes on, okay, um, so if you usually see, uh, these artists, um, get, befriend somebody and get close to them, and then all of a sudden that person dies, um, there's usually a,